Well, 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 God bless you, my friends. To God be the glory for the wonderful things he has done. Pastor Marcus here, and I'm so glad that you decided to connect with me on Facebook Live here on this beautiful Friday. No matter what time of the day it is, no matter where you are, listen, it's always a good time to connect with Pastor Marcus on Live, right? Because you know that I'm going to give you an encouraging word from the Lord. And listen, I've got something to say to you on this Friday. You know, we're in our 20 days. Remember, I told you this, uh, uh, let's see, seven days ago, I begin this. And we're in our 20 days of favor, open doors, and wisdom. So for 20 days, man, we're going to be talking about favor, open doors, and wisdom. And oh my goodness, you're one of them if I'm talking to you, and if not, it's coming. So many testimonies have been coming to my inbox, to my email, so many phone calls. Folks have even been showing up to our church on Sunday. In St. Louis, you know, telling me, man, I've, I've been catching these days on a favor online, man. And this is what's been happening. And I'm telling you, listen, you may not have been first in line to testify, but I can tell you this. You are next in line to testify because I really believe that God has great things in store for you and for your family. I really believe God has great things in store for you and everybody connected to you right here, right now. So listen, you don't want to miss out on this conversation. And even on this Friday, I heard the Lord tell me, he said, Marcus, talk to the people about favor and opportunities. All right. So listen, do me one quick favor, no matter where you are. All right. Help me here. Help somebody else get this word and help me to reach a few more people that need to hear this that may not get a notification. I want you to type in the comment section below. Favor is on my life. And then after you type that, I want you to go ahead and share this live video. This is a fresh word. It's a live video. I want you to share this video right now. Somebody connected to you is about to be blessed. Somebody connected to you is about to hear something that's going to shift their life. I told you, these next 20 days are 20 days of favor, open doors, and wisdom. Wisdom, open doors, favor. I really believe that this is a special season and a special time for all of us where God says, listen, I'm getting you out of limbo. I'm getting you out of the place where you've just been wondering what's next and hoping things work out. But he says, I'm getting ready to give you wisdom. I'm going to give you favor. And I'm going to open great doors for you. And I need you to believe that word. I need you to believe and receive that. And understand that, yes, you too, no matter where you are, listen, you are a candidate. You are a candidate for God's absolute best. All right? So share this video quickly. Share, share, share. Invite your friends and invite your family members, invite your followers to join us right now. Type that below. Say, favor is on my life. And then I want you to share this video. This has been 20 days. I'm talking about unlimited favor. God perfecting our lives. And I believe that you are next. So many have been testifying. But I really believe that you are next in line. I had to step out of the house for a minute because I knew I was going to get loud. And I didn't want to wake Madison up. And so I'm, I, I had to step in the back real fast just to give you this word and to remind you, all right, that you have God's favor. But not only do you have God's favor, but listen to this. His favor is upon you for the purpose of you stepping into new opportunities, greater opportunities. His favor is released on your life so that you can step into new and greater opportunities opportunities this is a word about favor and opportunities and i want you to get this what is the favor of god 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 giving you favor is him positioning you for what man doesn't think you you deserve or what man doesn't think you're good enough for all right i'm in this now so you might as well go ahead and get a hold of this all right the favor of god is when god blesses you in ways that go above and beyond man's limitations do you not realize that there are some people that don't believe that you deserve what you have? There are some people that don't believe you deserve what you're getting ready to have. There are people that don't think you deserve the job that you have. There are people that don't believe that you deserve to be in a relationship that you're in. There are people that don't believe that you deserve uh, to have the home you live in. They don't believe that you deserve to have your own business. Maybe because of your past. Or something that they know about you. There are people that don't believe you deserve to be happy. Guess what? Favor isn't fair. And the favor of God on your life isn't going to always make people happy. 
There are going to be some people that will see the favor of God on your life and they will not like you. You don't have to do anything bad. You don't have to hurt anybody. You don't have to talk about anybody. But just simply when people realize, oh my goodness, there's something about them. They've got it made. They're getting indoors and they're getting opportunities or they got a job or position that they didn't go to school for. Uh-oh. Or maybe you don't have the education that somebody else has. And so people start thinking, oh, that you don't deserve a certain job opportunity. Or maybe you've been through divorce. Maybe, maybe you've had some bad relationships in the past. And here you are, you're either single and happy and people don't like it. Or you're in a relationship and happy and people don't like it because of your past. Man, I've got to the place where I started telling folks, so what about my past? Look what the Lord has done for me now. You know what happens? God releases his favor on your life. You accept it. And then you begin to walk in it with confidence. You can't be sitting around worrying about who doesn't like you or who's got a problem with God's favor being on your life. You can't be sitting around trying to impress and please people who don't like you. No, the devil is a lie. You don't have to sit around trying to please people who don't like you. Or people that don't want the favor of God on your life. For every five people that don't think you deserve the blessings of the Lord, God will put 50 people in your life who will be happy for you. Did y'all hear what I said? For every five people that don't think you deserve the blessing of the Lord on your life, God will put another 50 people in your life who will be excited about your happiness. And guess what? When he gives you favor, guess what he's doing? He's preparing you for some big opportunities that are about to come your way. Did you hear me? God is preparing you for some big opportunities that are getting ready to come your way. Now, what is an opportunity? Now, I want you to hear this now. I want you to get this because you are never going to look at the word opportunity the same after I give you this. And you know, this is Facebook Live. And, and I'm telling I, I I give out a wealth of wisdom on here. I, I'm getting ready to do some private intimate webinars with some things that I want to share with you that I, that I won't share on Facebook Live. All right. And there's a plane going over my head. I don't live too far from the airport, but I want you to hear this word opportunity. And uh, maybe you can see it. Can you see it? Uh, somewhere up there. There it is. All right. Airplane. So listen, this word opportunity, you're never going to see it the same again. Okay. And I'm going to wait till this. Who's that? That's American Airlines. I'm going to wait till American Airlines goes by so that you can hear this loud and clear. Okay. You're never going to look at the word opportunity the same after I tell you this. All right. All right. There it is. I think you can hear me now. Pretty clear. The word opportunity is this. It's an op. It's. The word opportunity means a chance to advance. Think about that. Think about that. Think about it. Think about it. A chance to advance. That's what an opportunity is. An opportunity is a chance to advance. So if you're given an opportunity on your job, that means you're given a chance to advance. If you're given an opportunity in ministry, that opportunity is a chance for you to advance. If you're given an opportunity in a relationship, it's a chance to advance. You have an opportunity to purchase a home. Guess what? It's a chance to advance. Opportunity is an open door for you to advance, for you to get better. So from now on, look at opportunities for you to advance. Now, advancing isn't always a good thing. This is why you and I have to always make sure that we're conscious of how we are advancing. With who? we are advancing with what are we advancing with what are we advancing for are you following me somebody always be conscious 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 of why you're advancing who you're advancing with and where you're advancing to to advance means to simply move in a direction to move forward some people advance backwards they, they move back. They move forward with the wrong people and then they wonder why they move forward and they're stuck. Some people move and advance for the wrong reasons. They want to grow. They want to expand for the wrong reasons. Don't get caught up in that. Make sure you take every opportunity to advance in the right direction. Advance for the right reasons. And then here's one really important one. Advance with the right people. So favor and opportunities, it's a word for you. I want you to think about that now. Now, you know, Facebook Live is real quick and easy. We jump on, we give you the word and jump off. Hear me when I tell you, I declare right now that God is going to give you wisdom on how to advance in the right direction, 
Oh, Rabba Shandala Labasa. Oh, receive this, man. I, I'm telling you, I feel the anointing. God is going to give you wisdom on how to advance in the right direction. God's going to give you wisdom on how to advance with the right people. And God's going to give you wisdom as to advance and how to advance for the right reasons. You know, one thing I asked God some time ago, and he blessed me this way. I said, Lord, as you're blessing me, make sure that my heart is in the right place so that I'm blessed for the right reason. I want to be blessed for the right reason. I want to progress and increase for the right reasons. You know, there are a lot of people that increase and it's all for selfish gain. It's for selfish reasons. This is not why and how God wants us to advance. Are you hearing me, somebody, on this Facebook Live? Hear me now. There's hundreds of you listening to me. I can't take this as a joke. I can't, man, there are hundreds of you. Thousands will tune into this video within a few hours just watching the replay, catching up. All right, so this is serious business here. I prayed. I said, Lord, help my desires be your desires. Psalm 37 and 4, delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Listen, don't ever look to advance or look for opportunities that are only for selfish gain. When you sow and when you give and when you pray and when you seek God, you're asking God to bless you. But you also have to say, Lord, let me be blessed for the right reasons. Help my heart to be in the right place. When you advance, you got to pray. Say, Lord, give me wisdom. Let's see who's in my life that is supposed to advance with me so that I don't end up carrying the wrong people to the next level. Oh, many of you in a season right now, God has been connecting you and reconnecting you with new people, new leadership greater cover and that's going to last for years why because your life has shifted to a new dimension his favor is on you and opportunity for you to advance oh my goodness has been pre presented before you and listen sometimes listen sometimes it seems hard to advance sometimes you're saying well lord when is it going to happen when is this going to take place and God, man listen the lord told me to tell somebody right now listen your advancing is not always going to be overnight and i preached a few weeks ago i think last sunday in fact i preached i talked about uh how Winning a battle isn't about just crossing the finish line. Winning a race is not about just crossing the finish line. You're winning the race while you're in the middle of it. By how you stand, gain, and maintain strength and confidence while you're on in the race. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now. And a couple of hundred of you are with me. But I want you to know this right now. Opportunities are coming your way. Opportunity for you to advance in your career are coming for you. Opportunity for you and your family to grow and expand to your new home, your new properties, new levels of love and new dimensions of connectivity in your house that's coming for you. You are a carrier of God's greatness, my sister, my brother. You are a carrier of the anointing. And every opportunity that comes your way is not a God opportunity, but God is going to give you wisdom so that you see the right opportunities and you make progress and advance in the right directions. I speak that word over you right here, right now on this beautiful, beautiful Friday. That where you are right now is not where you're going to be forever. But because God's favor is on you and opportunities for you to advance in the right directions and go to the right places are going to be presented to you. You're going to say yes to the Lord and he's going to lead you and guide you. Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6 simply says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he's going to direct your path. I don't know how many of you are watching me right now, but just type below. Say, Pastor Marcus, this is confirmation. If you needed this. Just say, this is confirmation. This is confirmation. This is confirmation. I, I needed this word right here, right now. This is confirmation. Where I am right now is not where I'm going to be forever. Favor and opportunities. What is an opportunity? A chance to advance. And it's up to us to make sure we're hearing from the Lord so that we advance in the right direction with the right people for the right reasons. Are you hearing me now? Oh, somebody watching me is getting ready for a miracle right now. I told you, we are in our 20 days. 20 days. There's something powerful about this now. 20 days of favor, open doors, and wisdom. Favor, open doors, and wisdom. And you know, I woke up this morning, and it's, it's almost like I felt in my spirit to put this into a book. Make it a 20-day devotional. Favor, open doors, and wisdom. Favor, I may call it favor, opportunity, and wisdom. And it'd be a 20-day devotional that we can put into a book to go even further beyond this video. And these videos I've been doing every day on Facebook Live about these 20 days of favor. They only stay up for 24 hours, so you got to catch them live or catch them throughout the day as, as we go live and we air. Something good is about to happen. In this moment, this moment that you're watching me live, it's a moment that you don't need to miss. 
opportunities are coming for you. And God's favor is resting on you now. Can I pray for you? Look at all these people saying that this is confirmation. Let me pray for you right now. Father, thank you for these your precious people that decided to take a moment and hear this word on Facebook Live on this beautiful Friday. Father, I stretch my hands to these your precious people and I speak and declare that they will not miss the shift in their life. They will not miss this season of greatness. They will not miss this season of blessing. They will not miss this season of anointing. They will not miss this season of growth and increase. They will not miss this season of favor. And they will not miss this season of opportunity. A chance to advance. A chance to excel. A chance to grow. Thank you, Lord God, that even the hundreds that are with me now and the thousands that will catch up. Father, thank you that every man and every woman will not miss this moment. But Father, as your cloud of favor is moving over our heads and moving over our homes and moving over our lives. Thank you that that cloud is raining on us. And these, your precious people, are about to be blessed in ways greater than they can ever dream or even imagine. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I speak it, Lord, with great joy. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for favor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for open doors. Help us to see. Help us to trust. And help us, oh God, to be consistent in our faith as we're trusting you for the greater. Father, I thank you that these, your precious people, are blessed beyond measure. We know that Jesus is Lord. Father, thank you that no weapon formed against these your precious people will ever be able to prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against them in judgment, it shall be condemned. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. And thank you, Lord, that these 20 days will be just that. It will be, it will be raining miracles. Somebody watching me right now, you need a miracle. You need a financial breakthrough. Start declaring it. You need healing in your body. Start declaring it. You've been praying for promotion and you've been praying for your business to expand. Start speaking it and declaring it. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's harvest time for you and your family. You're blessed beyond measure. We declare it. We speak it. And we receive it in Jesus mighty name. We all said together. Amen. Amen. And amen. Listen, I'm excited. Thank you all for joining me. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Say, Pastor Marcus, this word was for me. And listen, don't miss this moment to sow. Our 20 days of favor, open doors, and wisdom has been nothing but a season and days of miracles. And I'm telling you right now, you are next in line to receive. Man, woman, hear me loud and clear. If you say, man of God, I'm ready to take a bold step of faith and I'm trusting God that this is my season. Watch this. I'm trusting God that whatever God has for me next is going to be harvest filled. It's going to be harvest like overflowing and increasing more and more. You believe in sowing and reaping. Get ready to sow that seed of 20. Hear me. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's the connection to this word, this prophetic season that the Lord has given me. God is delivering you from poverty. God is delivering you from misery. God is delivering you from limbo. And the Lord says, your seed right now of 20, even as we're in these 20 days of favor, open doors and wisdom. He said that seed of 20 is a sign of your obedience and your trust in him. And he says, I'm taking you out of poverty. I'm taking you out of limbo. I'm taking you out of misery and confusion. And I'm placing you in position for my favor to rest, rule and abide in everything you touch. For the Lord shall say, after you have sown this seed of 20, Within this moment, he says, don't miss this moment for I'm anointing your hands and everything you touch will prosper. You know this word was needed and this word was confirmation. As soon as I end this video, you wait about 30 seconds. It's going to refresh and look in the comment section below. Only here, I'm going to put a message there that simply declares, you're blessed beyond measure. Sow your seed of 20 as we're in our 20 days of favor, open doors and wisdom. You get your seed on the ground now. 20. If you want to double your seed and sow 40, however you feel like it. Some of y'all may say, man of God, I'm going to give 120. Some of you feel like to sow above and beyond. But listen, you stretch your faith and sow at least 20. That represents these 20 days of favor, open doors and wisdom. And you watch what God will begin to do in your life. So many have already testified. And I'm speaking over you right now. Every sower and every person that believes and trusts God, you are next. Don't miss it. This is your time. Find that message in the comment section below. 20 days of being blessed beyond measure. Get your seed in the ground. I love you. And I want you to know every day of your life is a day of victory. Get your seed in the ground right now. Something good is about to happen for you. Favor and opportunities 
are coming your way. Find that link below. Get that seat of 20 in the ground right now.